Hello, pocket knife community. Knife lovers, knife enthusiasts, interested viewers. Folder here. I want to do a video, a comparison, um, a different type of comparison. Not really based off of, just off the stats. It's going to be off feeling also. And, you know, as the video goes on, you'll see why. Uh... And it's basically a comparison between these two knives. The Giant Mouse, they're both Giant Mouse. Giant Mouse Ace Biblio. And the Giant Mouse Ace Atelier. Or Ace Grand Mini. For brevity in this video, I'm going to call this the Mini. Okay? I'm not going to get into all the names and all that stuff. We're going to just call this the Mini and this the Biblio. So, alright. Let's get started on this comparison and why... You know, this might help someone out there if they're thinking about these two because they're so close. Make a decision, um, you know, based off what I put out here. Let me see how, just, just to show you how I got here. My first giant mouse was this. The giant mouse Ace Reeve in the Stormtrooper edition. I bought it on the secondary market and I got it just because I wanted a small knife. I really wasn't that familiar with Giant Mouse. I admit, I didn't buy this because it was a Giant Mouse. I bought it because I wanted something a little tiny and, you know, I wanted a smaller knife uh, for certain reasons. So I, I ended up getting this. Turns out, I fell in love with it. Just amazing little knife. Unbelievable. My hands, and I can, fl I can reverse flick this, I just find that to be absolutely incredible. Like, the action on this thing is unbelievable for being such a small knife. Um, and you know, the, everything else about it, the, the, uh, the front choil, the way you can get your hands on it, using it, um, even, ba even back here. Uh, so anyway, not to get into that too much, but it, it, it turned out to be a really great knife. So this was my first venture in giant, giant mouse. My second venture in giant mouse was this knife was the giant mouse ace grand in the St. Nick's edition for Christmas time. Or the Deadpool edition when it's not Christmas time. I love Deadpool and associating this knife with Deadpool is really cool. But anyway, um, yeah, so this knife is a really uh, big knife. It's one of Giant Mouse's, uh, if not their biggest knife, it might be the biggest knife they have. And um, this is in G10, smooth G10, Veneta steel, and it's just a nice, uh, very nice unit. But <clears throat> when you compare these two, you're talking about an 8-inch knife, right? And <laughs> a knife, one knife that's 8 inches overall and one knife that's not even 6 inches. Just sub, just sub 6 inches overall. And we know in the knife world, a quarter of an inch or a half inch difference makes a huge difference. A knife that's eight inches or one that's eight and a quarter or, or a knife that's eight inches and one that's eight and a half. Huge, huge difference. So these are night and day. So needless to say, wow, I got this giant mouse really nice. I love things about it. I got this giant mouse. Love it. I love the shape of the blade. Love everything about this knife. Well, not everything about it. This, but I'm not going to get into those details. But I wanted something in between. I wanted a giant mouse that fills this niche in between. Lo and behold, I came up and got the Giant Mouse Ace Biblio. Okay. Acquired this. And I happened to get it in smooth carbon fiber. Uh, I saw it in other forms. And, um, and I didn't want the micarta. Uh, and then I saw it in metal. And one of the reasons why I did not get this in any metal, because I saw it in titanium, I see it in copper or brass, I can't think of which one it is, but it comes in other forms. The reason why I got it is because I said, this is a small knife, I have big hands, I want something in between these two sizes, but I don't want something, I want something that I can still get my paws on. So, lo and behold, lo and behold, I ended up going with the uh, smooth carbon fiber because it's contoured now the micarta is also contoured <clears throat> and what I mean by that is the scales have contouring so when you put this thing down 
it almost always teeter tots because there's a there's a uh, you know there's a high point in the middle, right? So it's going to always have a little bit of a it's never going to lay flat. It kind of always moves. Um, but also in hand because of that contouring, it adds girth. It adds bulk, and I wanted that. I said even if I want something in between these sizes, I want I want to be able to take advantage of that girth. And lo and behold, it was a it was a it was a it was a judgment call because I never actually held this in hand, but it, it came to pass. It was it was yeah, that's what it was. It it is, it's fantastic in hand. I mean this is one of the best knives I own. Um on the small side. Uh that feels this good in hand. And the biblio, right? You know, just for reference, it's not a seven inch knife. So when we start going below that seven inch mark, we're into the small section of knives. We're into the, you know, I mean, don't get me wrong, it's right at the top. It's right at the top of that, but it is not seven inches. So six point something, right? 6.9 inches, you know, yeah. So this is a small knife. And in hand, especially using the choil, which actually I can't really use the choil on this knife. I kind of... <clears throat> the choil the choil is a little short for me if it was a little bit bigger like just a little more then I, I could use it but I don't really feel comfortable using this choil my finger doesn't really fit in it and you know <clears throat> that's dangerous because this is a sharp edge so I don't use it but I don't need it like I can choke up like this I can use the jimping like this um, you know using the, the rear choil in the handle is uh is perfectly fine for me with this knife it feels really good in hand so so i got this so then okay so then it's all happy you know life's going on blase blase I, I filled my giant mouse niche i have the knives right all three okay big medium and small isn't it a happy world right i have all three of these loving giant mouse this is great okay lo and behold giant mouse pain in the butts they are come out with this knife they introduced the giant mouse mini right the mini grand the baby grand and i'm like well what are the specs on that thing turns out that exactly i'm talking ex exactly the same size as the biblio when it comes to the length Open, open, exactly <laughs> the same size. So it is, so now there's a dilemma, right? So now I'm like, oh, I just filled this niche. Okay, but you know, are, is it just niches that we're filling? Or are we enthusiasts, right? We know, we know the answer to that, right? But at the same token, you know, it is a question that some people might ask because um, I actually asked myself that question why would I get the, the baby grand if I already had the biblio and so when they came out with the baby grand uh, it turns out that they did give me a reason to uh, get one and that reason is the materials so the materials when they came out with this you know they said well we're gonna come out with this in titanium which is something that, you know, a lot of these, these you know, this, this has titanium, but this is, this is a sort of a contoured titanium. You know, um, the titanium scales for this knife are very flat. They're very, very flat. So it takes away that, that, that whole contouring um, benefit. So it's got the breast backspacer. I love the Grand. The Grand is my favorite giant mouse. This is the Mini. Ah, oh, here we go, right? So, anyway, I got the Mini Grand, and uh, they are very close. So, why would one get one over the other? Well, I'll tell you right now, their specs are extremely close. Extremely. Literally, literally, um, you saw the length right you saw the length the blade shape the blade length all that is identical the biblio in carbon fiber weighs 3.9 ounces 
So she's a porker. The mini grand is 4.2 ounces. So it's actually even heavier. It's actually even heavier. So this one's a little heavier. A little bit, but not anything to write home about. Right? 3.9, 4.2. You're not going to notice that carrying it. So that's a wash. That's a wash. So what's the difference? The ergos. Even if you get this in the micarta version and, not, and you decide not to get it in the um, titanium, um, the ergos are the only differences, really, and, and styling, okay? Because, you know, you have a, you have a harpoon uh, clip point here and you have a drop point here. So if the styling is different, is the styling is something you like better in one over the other, then that's one thing. Um, I like the styling a lot in both. This, with the, with the um, exposed liners, this just tickles my pickle. I love this knife. This is this literally is one of my absolute favorite. It's my favorite smaller knife. My absolute favorite smaller knife. Um, and one of my favorite knives, period. So I really like this, this a lot. I've carried it, I've cut with it. Um, you know, EDC cutting with it. And it's great. So really, the elephant in the room that you would have to address with these two are which one of these has a styling that's more conducive to um, your style and the only other issue really is width because that is the big difference 12 so this is 12.4 millimeters wide Right, 12.3, 12.4 at its widest. Biblio. Fifteen point oh four. Yeah. So point five nine inches, literally half an inch. Point six, really point five, point oh point five nine, oh point six, very wide, half an inch. Point four inches, oh point four nine inches. I mean, listen, um. If you're looking at the exact numbers, it doesn't sound like much, uh, but I will definitely tell you having these in hand, the mini feels much slimmer than the Biblio. Just holding in hand, the ergos, how it feels in hand. It feels, it feels much slimmer. So yeah yeah definitely so yeah so i think that's it i think that's it i think that's the uh i think that's it that's where that's what it is it all boils down to styling and if you want something that feels chunkier in hand you would go with the biblio if the styling of the biblio is something that you like and you want something that feels like it has more substance in hand, you would go to Biblio. If this type of styling of the mini is more your speed and you want something that feels much, much thinner in hand, much slighter in hand, then it would definitely be the mini. And if you're, if you're an enthusiast and crazy, and you just end up going with both and call it a day. All right, that's all I got.